Have you finally saved up enough money in GTA 5 to get yourself a brand new supercar? But you're not sure which one to buy? Well, you have come to the right video, so welcome everyone, I hope you're all having a great day so far. And in this video, I'm going to show you the top 10 hypercars, supercars in GTA 5 Online. So let's go! So coming in at number 10, we've got the Coil Cyclone. This is a really nice looking car. It's an electric vehicle, so it has very insane acceleration. The only bad thing about it is the top speed, of course, as it is an electric car. So the top speed is quite trash, but the acceleration is literally just insane. So this is something that, it's just a fun car. Um, it's really quick. It's good for drag races, of course, but... Come on, why would you use this thing in a drag race? But if you do want to, it is a good vehicle, of course, to use in a drag race. And it is got some decent handling. I wouldn't say the handling is the best, but I quite like it. It's not too bad. But it is a really fun car to drive around in. If you're, like, running away from someone, it is super quick. Coming in at number 9, we've got the Grotty Furia. It's a pretty grotty car. No, I'm joking, but it's actually a really nice looking car. Um, as you can see, mine, I reckon mine looks pretty mean. With the orange, red looking colour, it looks really nice. But this is such a nice car. I'd put this on this list because it is not too bad of a car. The handling is quite nice as well, I reckon. I like the handling. It's pretty sick. But um, this car has a lot of customization features. So if you're into that, go ahead and pick this one up, definitely. It is quite fast as well, and the sound, the sound is amazing of this car, I love it, it's good. Coming in at number 8, we've got the X80 Proto, and this is a really nice car inside of GTA that you can buy for around 2.7 million, I believe, which is just mental. Like, come on, 2.7 million? Like, far out. Um, but, nah, this is a really nice car. As you can tell by the looks, it is, like, futuristic and stuff, which I think is pretty cool. Um, it kind of drifts around and stuff, like, it kind of drifts around, but it's alright. Um, the speed is pretty decent as well, it's a decent solid car, it's not the best and it is not the worst, so I'd recommend if you like it, go ahead and grab this one. Coming in at number 7, we've got the Fister 811, it's a really nice car, I believe this is a Porsche in real life, I don't even remember what one it's called, I can't even think of what it's called, but the reason why this car is so good, other than the looks, because I mean look at it bro, it looks sick. But this thing is very good. I believe it is um, one of the, if not the fastest hypercar, supercar in the game. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it's w at least one of the fastest in the game in terms of top speed. Um, as you can see by this clip here, look how fast this thing is going, bro. Like, you can just hear the engines just going super fast. I don't even know, bro. It's just so fast. It's so cool, though. It's a really nice looking car, and it's quite good handling as well, I'd say. So yeah, definitely pick this one up. I'm pretty sure it's a little bit cheaper than some of the other ones. But yeah, I reckon it's a quite a nice car. It looks awesome as well. It sounds quite nice as well. So coming in at number 6 with the Truffade Nero, also known as the Bugatti Chiron, I believe. Um, it's a very nice car and you can actually take this thing to the Benny's workshop and upgrade it to the Nero Custom which will make it more like a racing type car which I reckon is pretty cool as you can see um, this is just a stock car in this footage so it won't be as fast but it is quite a fast car and I reckon it looks quite nice you can make it look quite nice obviously it is stock right in this um, clip so it doesn't look too good but you can make this thing look sick bro like you can add all these cool racing strips and lines into it I reckon it looks pretty cool when it's upgraded. Um, it is a very fast car as well, and the handling is quite solid on it as well. So if you do like this one, definitely go ahead and pick it up. Mm -hmm. 
Coming in at number 5, we've got the Progen T20. This is another amazing car in the game. And this is one of the OG hypercars in this game, or supercars. It is based off the McLaren in real life. I've actually seen a couple of these in real life. They are amazing cars. It's got a, like a retractable um, spoiler, so you know the ones like a, I don't know what you would call it, like an active spoiler or whatever. But basically, when you drive fast, the spoiler um, comes out. It's pretty awesome. This car is amazing. It has been in the game for like I don't even know, probably like seven years or something. It's been in the game for a long time, and yeah, it is like an OG car, bro. It's such a nice car, and it's just a solid vehicle. It's definitely not a bad car. The handling is amazing as well. Um, the customization is not too much you can do to it, but it is just an awesome vehicle overall. Coming in at number four, we've got the Truffe Thrax, also known as the Bugatti Devo. And this is a very nice car. I believe it is the Bugatti Devo in real life. Correct me if I'm wrong, of course. But it is such an amazing car. And I really do enjoy driving this one around. I actually do, do own like 15 of these inside of the game. Yep, I know, 15. It's a pretty mental, like, why do you need 15? Honestly, the reason why I have 15 is because there are so many cool colour combos you can do with this car, I'd say. Um, and yeah, but overall, for the performance, it is an amazing car. It's got great handling, it's pretty fast as well, and it just looks awesome, as you can see. I reckon it looks awesome anyway. But nah, it's a really nice car, and one thing I've noticed with this car is if, if you're in a race and someone's trying to ram you off the road, this thing, it's like, bro, if they try and ram you, they're the ones going off the road. I don't know why, but this car just sticks to the ground, it feels like, um, especially when someone tries to ram you. That's what I've noticed, but yeah, that's why I reckon. But nah, it's a pretty cool car. But yeah, go ahead and pick this one up, I reckon. It definitely is in the top five. It is amazing. It's just awesome. It also sounds really nice as well. Coming in at number 3, we've got the Progen Emirates, I believe it is called the Progen Emirates, I'm pretty sure. I believe this is the McLaren Senna in real life, and it is um, another amazing car inside this game. And from what I've heard, this is the fastest car around the track, so it has like the fastest lap times and something about that. But nah, it's a really awesome vehicle, so I recommend you should pick this one up and add it to your collection, as it is a beast of a car. But in this clip, I don't actually own this car, so this is stock right now. And it also, like, as you can see, it's stock right now. And look how fast it is, bro. Like, it's crazy. Like, you definitely should pick this one up. And yeah, I reckon it doesn't look too bad. Like, it looks a bit crazy, but it kind of looks nice at the same time. So, yeah, why not pick this one up? And um, it won't, you won't regret it because it is an overall top car in the game. So coming in at the number two spot, we've got the Divisti 8. Now this is a very amazing car, bro. Definitely get this one, man. It literally costs like 1.7 million, which is good for this list. Literally every other car on this list is so expensive. And this is definitely worth the money. This thing is overall in the top three best vehicles in the game. Um, for supercars, of course. And it's just such a nice car, man. It's just so fast. It handles quite nice as well. And I mean, look at it, bro. It literally looks like, I don't even know, bro. Like, it's just awesome. I believe it's based off, like, a prototype in real life. I'm not too sure, but I think it's, like, the Devil 16 or something. But this is overall such an amazing car. And it's de this is, I recommend getting this one. Like, definitely you need to own this car. The Div SDA. Coming in at the number one spot, yes, the number one spot, it is going to be the Benefactor Krieger. 
and this is just an amazing car overall I would say it is the best supercar in the game or hypercar whatever you want to call it it's just awesome bro and overall this is definitely the best one and you definitely want to pick this thing up like no doubt about it bro you need this car if you if you're like a racer or whatever it doesn't even matter if you're a racer bro if you just drive around bro you just need this car man it's just sick bro it is it does cost quite a lot of course 2.9 million but nah it's worth it bro fully worth it definitely get this vehicle overall i'd say it is the best one and yeah it's just amazing bro the, the speed is perfect the handling is nice and um, it just looks amazing bro like look at it bro it looks sick bro i reckon it looks awesome but yeah that is it bro that is it for the video guys that is the final vehicle and what do you guys reckon of my top 10 list and of course it's just my opinion it's what i think is my top 10 list but let me know what your top 10 or top 5 list is in the game and let me know what you would have changed on my list which you would have thought would be better but that's just what i reckon for my list that's going to be it i hope you all enjoyed this video and if you did watch to the end you are a legend bro if you watched if you're hearing this right now you're a legend and i hope you have a great day but um that's gonna be it i spent a long time making this video i mean i know it's like an 11 minute video it's like bro it probably didn't even take them long but yeah it actually took me quite a while to make i don't know how i don't know i don't know why but i just hope you guys enjoy it that's my goal just to help you guys out maybe i don't know just have fun in the game and yeah i will see you all in the next one and have a great rest of your day guys and be sure to subscribe why not it's free you don't have to of course i hate asking the people to subscribe but if you really want to go ahead man it's free why not and yeah have a great rest of your day see you guys bye have a great time